What's up, guys, and welcome to Diamond Society Season 3. Yeah. I'm so hyped. <laughs> the hype is real, my friends. So um, we're going to keep this intro short and sweet, uh, but we have a whole army of amazing new players, and uh, and pretty much like almost everyone from last season is is back. So we have a super, just incredible roster. I couldn't be more excited about the season. And the theme for the season is ancient civilizations. So we're not just building a city this season. We're building an entire world, and it is going to be absolutely epic and amazing. So I cannot wait to get started. Um, gosh, is there anything I'm missing, really? No. Uh, really. Should we introduce Name a couple of what we're going to do? Should we go around, go around in a circle? And... Oh, yeah. Uh, well, sure. So I can't, I can't remember all the, all the civilizations. I know we've got, like, Asia. We've got, um, yeah, we've got, like, a China, Japan, uh, Roman. Yeah, Celtic. I mean, like, fantasy, medieval. All kinds of it's gonna yeah it's it's gonna be it's gonna be incredible so um, and all of that is going to be instead of a spawn town it's gonna be like a spawn world uh, and at the center of all of that is going to be yeah that's true at the at the center of that is going to be an epic build height uh, world tree so it's going to be really really cool uh, but anyway thank you guys uh, for for making it for the official launch and um, I say does anyone have anything else? Time to for life, baby. Woo. Yeah. Bring it on. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's season three begin. Let's go punch some trees. What's up, guys? It's Coop Dizzle here, and welcome to episode one of season three on the Diamond Society SMP. Oh yeah, I am really excited for season three of the Diamond Society, my friends. As I mentioned in the intro, we just have, uh, we have a really cool theme. We have a really incredible roster this season. Um, yeah, so it's, with the roster, I just feel like I wanna jump straight into it. You know, with the roster, all of our returning members, we have a ton of returning members that are dedicated, active players, and um, and everybody, I feel like, grew last season and did things they've never done before. So, you know, we've just got a really, like, developed core, I guess, foundation to our roster, and the new members are all just incredible. And there are some builders that just do things that I have never seen before. Or that I have only seen on like Hermitcraft, you know, guys like Good Times with Scar. Um, we have a couple of, of people who are like that and, and build on that level. So, um, and just, I mean, and everyone is really good. So anyway, I am really, really stoked about this season. Uh, the theme is going to be Ancient Civilizations. And so, as I mentioned in the intro, we're building an entire world uh, this time around. And... Let's just jump into that. This part of the world is going to be the medieval Japan. Whoops. Uh, medieval Japan. And so I've got a few ideas on how all of this is going to go. Um, we have, you know, I almost built in an area we have dedicated for um, ancient China and Tibet. <clears throat> because the build styles for China and Japan are incredibly similar, especially in Minecraft. So... Um, yeah, the thing is, though, is I wanted to be able to do, like, fishermen markets and boats and things like that. And I couldn't do that because the area for China is in a mountainous area and it's landlocked. So here we are. I don't know if anyone's actually going to join us um, in the ancient Japan area, but hopefully I won't be the only one building here. Did I not set up? Oh, I took all my stuff down. This is all the stuff I've got going on so far. Let me see if I can find my furnace. There it is. I need to get some food going ASAP. Um, but anyway, so while I am working on that, the plan for this episode is basically to build a house. Do I not have any meat left? <laughs> I did not adequately prepare for the start of this episode, my friends. Um, anyway, let's let's do this first. I've got a few. I've got a bunch of diamond gear, so I've got full diamond armor at this point, which is really sweet. None of it is enchanted yet, but um, it's definitely saved my butt a few times already. And then I've got a enchanted diamond sword with knockback 2, sharpness 3. 
We have the diamond shovel. This is definitely my best tool right now. I'm so glad that I have this. And then the pickaxe is pretty good. It's got fortune three, so that's awesome. We'll be rolling in the diamonds. I just have to make sure not to let this thing break. And efficiency four makes things go by really quick as well. Um, so yeah, we're off to a really good start. I just need to go get some food real quick. Um, but yeah, so the plan for this episode is to build a house. And I wanted to do a check-in right now to kind of show you that I picked out an area for the house. We're going to be building on a hill like we always do so that over the course of the season, we can watch this area develop and change and be, you know, get a good view of most of uh, this island area. So that's going to be really cool. Now, I left this open here. I haven't finished this yet because I wanted to show you how big of an area this was um, and all of the stone I had to mine out. I had to mine out about four levels of stone and then there's a whole bunch of dirt um, in this area over here. So this was not this flat before. It kind of like there was a level of dirt right here and it went up again four levels. So um, yeah, it took a while. It took a while and I had to go get some enchanted tools to get it done a little bit quicker and that took some time. Um, but here we are. So I just want to do a quick check in to share that with you. And um, I've got a lot to do before the next update. Um, I have to, so in creative mode, I haven't done a whole lot to prepare for this area. All I've done is build a, um, a medieval Japanese castle. And uh, that is gonna be really cool. I can't wait to get that project started. Uh, but first things first, we need a place to kind of, um, to live, right, and, and to keep our stuff. So um, that's what we're gonna do first. But anyway, so that means I have to come up with a design for the house, and I also have to collect materials, which is going to be a very long process. So it's going to be a while before the next check-in. Who knows what all will get done. Maybe I'll show you some of the uh, other stuff going on in the server or something like that. But anyway, I'm going to get to work on all that stuff, and uh, when I get all of that done, then I'll check in. Quite some time has passed, and I've gotten a lot accomplished, and I'm ready now to really start building the house, which is really cool. So let's take a look at the foundation here. You can see I've done a lot on sort of the, the outside, like the decorative area. Um, I wanted to have a sort of a, I don't know, like a water feature and some lounging areas kind of around the outside of the house. So that's what all of this stuff is. In fact, this design that we're going to be working on is based on a sort of a modded Minecraft design by A1, oh, shoot, I, I can't remember, it's A1 Most Addictive Minecraft, there it is. Man, he's such a good builder, but he was using a bunch of modded blocks out of like Conquest Reforged and stuff that we don't have in vanilla. So, I, and also I had to scale down this design quite a bit. So it's gonna be a little bit different from his, but the idea, the palette um, is based on what he did. And that's just to kind of help me get started on sort of learning the ropes of the style. You know what I mean? So anyway, oh, no, 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 I don't want to come down yet. Um, so I started building up a little bit so that I kind of know what I'm doing once we start building on camera here in just a second. So I built up this little corner over here. But if you want the dimensions, we basically have right here, we have, um, we have logs, right? So there's a log and then three blocks and then a log, three block gap, another log, three block gap, another log, and that's this side. Um, so that's real easy. And then over here, it's basically the same thing. Yeah, it's actually the same on both sides now. So I've, <laughs> sorry, I had to think about that because I've actually had to change it a handful of times. Um, like I've been placing down blocks and, and taking them back up and moving things and shifting things one block to one side. And um, it's been quite a journey to get here actually. Um, but now we're here, we can kind of um, rock and roll and get started, and I'm, and I'm yeah, excited to finally do it. So, uh, the first build on Season 3. This is going to be cool. So let's kind of go over how we're going to do these wall designs, okay? So the end result is sort of this. We've got a mix of a couple of different te white textures here. We've got some quartz pillar um, blocks on top. We have spruce fence and spruce stairs that we're using along the outside here and so let's go over and then we have the secondary wall design here so um, let's kind of go over those two real quick so it doesn't matter if we start with the concrete powder or if we start with the white wool so let's just start with the white wool whoops that's not what i wanted uh powder is next wool powder wool 
uh, powder wool, and then we need our spruce fence. Put two of those down here. Get out our pillar quartz blocks, put those along the top. And then we're just going to work our way up with the acacia logs. I've been farming acacia like crazy. Do I not? Okay, I have to go grab some more real quick. No problem. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need tons of this stuff. I need the logs though is what I need right now. In the background there, you may have seen that I've been trying to make a chicken cooker. See that thing over there? If I zoom in, okay, there is one chicken. It's really slow right now, but that's probably the third chicken cooker that I've built. So apparently my redstone skills are really rusty. Um, okay, so this wall we would just end up doing again right here. And so I'm not going to repeat that on camera, but we'll just go up here with these stairs. So the stairs are just facing downward. And let's see, does that get us all the way up? I think we need one more. So how many blocks high is that? One, two, three, four, five up. And then we would just fill this stuff in. So let me do that. Uh, now nah, let's go ahead and do this door frame and then I'll finish up the walls off camera. So to start the door, we're gonna put chiseled quartz here. And then we're gonna go up the rest of the way with the pillars. There they are. Okay, so up like this. Oh, what's in the way? Okay. Like something like that. And then we've got the door here, so maybe something like that. I don't know, how's that looking? And then maybe like a, oh, let's do that. Where's the diamond block? Yeah. We'll put a fat diamond block right there. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the Diamond Society, my friends. Gratuitous use of diamond, diamond blocks incoming. Okay, so let's, uh, nope, I need a shovel, whatever. Don't have time to get that out right now. Okay, so we've got that. I don't have the door. Um, do I have slabs? I do have slabs. So what we're gonna do is use some of these. Okay, so we'll go like that. And then like that maybe? What would probably look better is if we did, let me think. I wish we could do something like this, right? But I don't see how we would be able to because like if we had a little more room, we could do something like that. But I don't think we can really pull that off here. So let's just go back to what we had before. Something like that. Okay. And uh, yeah, and I almost forgot Let's get our stairs back out here. And we're gonna use spruce stairs as sort of a support uh, for these pillars, like so. We're gonna leave that blank for now because I'm not 100% sure how I wanna deal with that. Um, and then on these as well. So we'll just build this up real quick on both sides. Two, three, four, five. Okay. And then get our stairs back out like so and there we go okay yeah and then I've got this open right now because that's my uh, starter mine shaft down there so um, another detail I've got here is that I've got some oak logs underneath the oak um, the oak leaves and that's just to provide little like root systems underneath those um, otherwise you can kind of these like water features all have two block gaps in between each of the mossy cobblestone and uh, the bottom here is mossy cobble as well. So that kind of gives you an idea. Once you get this built, if you want to do all the outside stuff we're going to be doing, you can do that. Oh, almost forgot. So on all of these, we want to build little tables. And we're going to use uh, flower pots and stuff on those. We'll get to that at the end. Um, but that really covers up most of the mossy cobble. Just makes it a little bit visible right there since it's so heavy-handed on the outside and on the trim here. So I think that'll, I think that works really well. All right. Very cool. Well, I'm going to head off camera. I'm going to build up the rest of these walls and maybe even start the roof. And I'll come in and kind of show you guys what we're doing uh, with the roof design. The first floor is done, guys. So I am really, really happy with how this is turning out so far. And I made quite a bit of progress. Now, I wanted to originally 
do a like a, a replay mod time lapse of me building up the roof so that you could kind of see that process but unfortunately my internet kept kicking me off while I was trying to record that and so I just kind of gave up on it so I just went ahead and did the roof which we're standing on right now um, I wanted to however well okay so let me show you if you wanted to follow along and work on this as well the only things I did is I added a line of diorite here, polished diorite, and then I added a row of acacia logs, and then I went ahead and connected beams going across there while the acacia logs go up, and then just filled that in with some oak slabs. And uh, yeah, I did a little bit of work on the interior here, so now there's a little step up, and then there's one more level here. That's so we can have the bed and the floor right there, um, because that's a Japanese thing to do, I guess. So anyway, let's go up here. I wanted to save just this little bit for us to do together on camera. Uh, I remember when I was working on a creative build and I shared it with the server, one of the members was saying like, man, I wish I knew how to, uh, I wish I knew how to do those roofs uh, where you do like the, the corners that bend up like that. So this is all you do, okay? You saw that I cut out, like you pick a point. We're gonna say that this block is our point here. And then you just cut out a straight diagonal <laughs> uh, anyway cut out a diagonal and then you just come across like this you use this slab to build up um, the slab that goes upwards and so right here I guess we didn't have to cut that out because we're gonna add one right there or add two rather and then add slabs to those on the outside with our accent color now here I don't want this to be flat right here I want it to have a lift so we're gonna add a slab here temporarily to put that slab down and then just remove this one and you've got yourself a nice bendy thing. Um, so I don't like how this looks. So I'm just going to go ahead and add slabs right there just to thicken that out a little bit. I think it looks a tiny bit better. So <clears throat> I also did some work on sort of the exterior stuff, the courtyard area. But let's go see how this first floor looks. Yeah, man, I am loving this. I think this is really, really good. So it's looking really cool. It's looking nice and detailed. I really like that I did the wool and the concrete powder in the walls. I think that adds a lot of texture to the build and just looks really cool. So, hmm. All right. Now over here, I started this just to give you an idea of how we're going to decorate surrounding the build. And then of course, surrounding this and all this open area, we're gonna build some custom trees. Um, probably a mix of like oak trees and uh, what do you call them? Cherry blossom trees. I've never made a cherry blossom tree in Minecraft before, so that should be interesting. I also want to get some, what is it called? Um, iron bars and get some glowstone lamps or make, yeah, just glowstone and then hang some of those down here. And the reason I want to use um, iron bars is so they don't connect to the fences right here. And it'll look like a, like a chain or something hanging down with a, with a lantern. We'll build a lantern there. So I think that's really cool. And I think this area is really nice too. This is kind of meant to be a little bench sort of that you can sit at and look out over the area. And that's why these um, fence gates here are not enclosing this area. This is sort of a hangout spot, but the fence gates are completely enclosing the water features here. I added some sort of fake trees, I guess. Um, went ahead and did some height variation on those. But yeah, I think this is really cool. And it's gonna be really, really neat once we get that surrounding on all three sides. So I think the next thing I'm probably gonna do is to go ahead and finish the bottom area down here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then when I come back, I will kind of start the, I'll have had the outline for the second floor. We've got one more floor and then the roof to add to this bad boy. So I'm gonna get all of that done on the outside here, put up the framework for the second floor, and then we'll come back and do some of the second floor together. The second floor is finally coming together and I'm really liking how it's turning out. So let's zoom in here just a little bit, just to give you a little update on what I did. I basically took, so so this floor, what is it? Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, is nine by nine and it's inset one from the logs on the first, at the top of the first floor. I think it's just inset one. And then in that gap on top of those logs, we have, or actually, inside from where those logs are one if that makes sense like from where the logs were the logs are covered up by the spruce uh spruce slabs here go in one more from that and then that's where you put 
the um, the what is it called acacia slabs okay so and then you've got the nine by nine square here that you can sort of outline this with now the other thing too before we head over there and I'm going to show you how to build up one of these walls um, but I added a few slabs here and here and then three at the top here just on top of those three rows of, uh, of spruce slabs so anyway I think it's looking pretty cool from a distance and I'm really excited to get this thing finished up so let me head up to the second floor and we will build the last wall of the second floor together okay so here we are now we're gonna take this log up six high so that's one two three four five six and then hop down here and we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the first floor alternating between white wool and white concrete powder like so and then boom we got some spruce fence and then we're gonna put down our pillar quartz blocks whoops there we go and our polished die right here and then we're just gonna finish filling this in with the logs all right now we're gonna go ahead and run polished diorite outside of where the logs are right here so it kind of makes a uh, makes a trim like that so now it's time to detail up the outside here so let's grab some stairs let's grab some trap doors flower pots uh, oak saplings we're gonna need acacia fence and I think that's gonna get it for us okay so we need to build up some supports like this for the diorite that's up there so we're just doing a, a, a three wide stair here with these facing in like that. So again, that's one facing out, one facing that way and that way. So you get kind of that, that um, slanted shape going in like, like so. Okay, and then we're gonna add upside down stairs here all the way out to the log where we turn the stair like that. So here we go. Good, and then we're gonna run acacia fence, whoops, going all the way down like so and over here as well okay now we're gonna add a regular stair regular facing stair right there with some more acacia fences right there now I think on one side I have another acacia fence here and I suppose you could do that but I kind of don't like it so I'm gonna remove that I think that's the only side I had it on and then the two more finishing touches here we've got trap doors covering those up covering up the pillars. I think that has a cool look to it as well, seeing the pillars through the trap doors. Um, that's kind of super detailed. And uh, flower pots here with oak saplings to represent bonsai trees. And that's literally how every wall on this is done, which means that our second floor is basically complete. And that's awesome. Now we're gonna go ahead and start the roof. I wonder where that zombie's coming from. Um, I am going to get a start on the roof I'm not sure how much of it I'll actually be able to show you, um, but I'll see what I can do and I'll check back in once we make some more progress. All right, guys, it's time for an update and I apologize right now for all the background noise. There's really nothing I can do about it, but check this out. The house is looking really, really cool. Let's, uh, let's take a look at it from over here and you can kind of see the side a little bit. Man, really missing having ender pearls right now. Um, how will this do? This will do fine. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's looking really cool. Um, I guess I really didn't talk about the roof. I So basically, it's just an A-frame. Okay, so you've got right side upstairs going on the outside of it and upside down stairs going on the inside. There's one stair that's facing outward here. And that's really all the roof is. Now there's an upside down stair facing to the outside on the edge of the roof there. That's how you get that kind of curved out shape. <clears throat> and then there is a little bit at the top, a little bit of detail that I think is pretty cool. If we can get a good view of it, let's see from here. Yeah, you can see it here. So this is just an uh, outward facing upside down stairs um, and then one inward facing upside down stair back to back with fence gates running along the top here. For this little bit right here, I basically left one row. Uh, hmm, I wish I could get a better view of it. Let me see. Oop. Starting to get pretty good at parkouring my way around uh, the area here. Can we see it? Yeah, we can see it a little better from here. So right here, you just leave one row 
of the um, of the spruce stairs and then from there you cut out a box that's about three wide out of the roof um, three wide and three tall and then you just build out whatever your your shape is here I put some windows in there did the same kind of wall design that I've been doing and then um, and then added this here I kind of wonder if I should put a trap door there I tell you what let me know because it looks like we did that just about everywhere else well we didn't do that at the bottom here but let me know if you think I should add some trap doors here um, I am think it's fine without them but it could look cool with the trap doors but yeah I added as a detail extra detail I added some uh, Japan flag banners here at the main entrance now part of me wants to do those banners all the way around the on all of the outside where all of these blocks are you know I think that would look really really cool but that's gonna take so much wool and I don't have time or the energy <laughs> to farm up all that wool right now we don't really have an OP sheep farm I started a sheep farm um, to get this house and those banners going but that's about it anyway the next thing that we're gonna be doing is adding some trees back into the area so I've been taking out all the trees now I want to build some cherry blossom trees maybe two or so on each side of this pathway leading up so they're kind of framing the house as you walk up I think that would be really cool and then we're gonna spread those cherry blossom trees just circling or around whoops <laughs> around the property mixed in with some regular like green trees I think that'll be a really cool look um, I've been practicing my cherry blossom trees in creative mode so hopefully they turn out okay but I, I don't feel very confident about it I tell you what I might make one and then bring you back in to show you what that looks like maybe uh, or I might just get to work because this is gonna take me a lot of time uh, each tree is just takes a long time even in creative mode and they're not even that big so yeah we'll we'll see how this adventure goes but anyway I'm gonna get to work doing some landscaping and uh, that'll be the final piece for our build today is just uh, you can't neglect the bushes as Corrales used to say never neglect the bushes we need trees all around the place and maybe throw in some bushes too we'll see uh, but trees and bone meal for sure so I'm gonna get on it well it's time for the final check-in guys so I did a bit of work outside it's not done though but this is where we're gonna have to stop for this week and you can kind of get a hint through that little window over there but check it out now the view as we walk outside cherry blossom trees yeah man it looks cool I really stressed out to be honest I stressed out a lot over these trees and I practiced a few times um, but I think they turned out really cool like they're not perfect like that one I feel like that kind of juts out a little too far um, but if you look at it I, it's because I made the branch just a little bit too long and that's just how it turned out um, but yeah I really like that one that was the first one I did this one is really cool I'm really digging this one and I think it's really cool as the path comes up here that it kind of hangs over the path a little bit and gives you a little bit of shade um, and also that one is really simple but I think that turned out really nice as well I also put bushes these are birch leaves absolutely everywhere I made a couple of little flower bushes there's one over there there's some uh, I don't know if I don't know if that's an appropriate place for bamboo it's sugarcane of course but we're gonna call it bamboo and there's another flower bush over there next to the tree up there oh what is that yellow flower doing here Oh, nope, go away. Okay, we don't like those. Um, but yeah, so I think it's really cool. I thought about doing like a retainer wall. That's something I would normally do, but I don't know. I just kind of felt like for medieval Japan, we will have retainer walls here and there, um, but this is sort of maybe on the outskirts of the city, and there is a really wealthy person that lives up here, uh, but maybe it's not like a, a uptight wealthy person. Maybe it's really like a serene wealthy person who is in touch with nature and so you know we just put you know untamed untamed uh, landscape so just bushes everywhere some plants and things like that with some trees growing out of it that was kind of the idea anyway and I think it looks pretty cool now I want to take this concept and pretty much wrap it all the way around the hill um, well, there will be some places where it'll be hanging down probably like over there it'll be just hanging down I've cleared out a whole bunch of trees and I'm gonna be clearing I told myself this season I wasn't gonna clear out trees unnecessarily but for me I'm realizing it's actually kind of necessary 
for me to get a good layout of the land. And I want to figure out where the castle is going to go and I want to do some work on this river. I want the river to connect all the way through and lead all the way out to the ocean. So to do that, I'm going to need to be able to see the landscape and it's really hard to see the details of the landscape through all these trees. So that's going to be a project. I'm going to be um, cutting down all the trees. But yeah, oh, I wish I had done a little bit over there before this clip too so the front would be totally complete. Um, of course, it's not anyway. We're going to add another cherry tree on the corner here, one a bit further back. I want the cherry trees to go all the way around this property because again, this is like my house and it's an important piece of, yeah, it's just an important part of, of the land here. Um, we can assume that whoever lives here is someone important. So, but yeah, we'll probably do another cherry tree right about here. We'll come over here, maybe somewhere. See, I kind of want to do like one over here. I kind of want there to be three right here and then at least one back here. I don't think I can squeeze two because this cliff drops off really sharply. So maybe one, yeah, maybe two back here and then another two over here. So, and it took me a couple of days, like because of work, you know, I this first one took me a whole day to build. And then the second one over here took me a day to build. And then I did these two yesterday. So it's been quite a project, guys. Like the cherry trees are no joke. Each one takes a minimum of one hour, sometimes up to two hours to build. And uh, hopefully I'll get faster at it. I think I'm getting a bit faster, but also it takes a long time because I try occasionally to push myself like this tree trunk here leaning so much and then having the branches go in, you know, different directions and different some of them taper down, some of them go up a little bit, and that makes building out the leaves of it more complicated and more difficult to get right. Um, and I won't say that I've totally gotten them right, but like that one, I feel like I didn't get right. But yeah, um, I think it's coming along. I think it looks really cool, and hopefully you get some inspiration from this. Hopefully you think it's really cool too, and hopefully you're excited for the start of Season 3. I am really pumped. I've not been this excited to play Minecraft in a long time. I think building Japan is going to be so much fun, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Oregato desaimas. I think I pronounced that a little bit weird. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today, guys. And if you enjoyed it, please make sure and hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new and join the Coop Dizzle family. Thank you so much, uh, Coop Dizzle fam, for sticking around for so long. Um, hopefully, this will be a pretty good run here. But yeah, anyway, guys, you're awesome. And until next time, may you be happy, may you be well, and take care. I'll see you later.